Hey, in this video I will try to explain the basics of bullet trajectory and some possible misconceptions. When we look at our weapon system we can define it by those lines. The bore line that starts in the chamber resumes through the barrel and continue in a straight line. The line of sight that goes from the shooter's eye through the scope to the target. The elevation angle that we change according to the distance. And finally, the projectile trajectory. If we point our barrel line directly on the target and shoot, from the moment the bullet exits the barrel, gravity, friction and drag go into action. Slow the bullet down and pull it to the ground. The further the distance, the slower the bullet gets and the curve becomes steeper. That means we will always miss our target. To hit our target, the barrel must point above it. So the forces pull the bullet back down to the target. To do this, we adjust our line of sight for every distance, which will automatically change the elevation angle. The shooter must know the elevation angle according to the distance and atmospheric condition that we will talk about in next videos. This is the reason the sight must be leveled. Every time the sight's not leveled, the actual elevation angle we planned isn't the one we actually shot. And our point of impact becomes lower and mostly to the side the sight is slighted. In close distance we can still hit large targets. But the longer the distance and the smaller the target, every degree will make a big difference. And we can miss the target, so in long distance the shooter must use a leveler on his scope. What will happen? if we use a 45 degree red dot on our weapon. How can we calculate the trajectory? Actually, we don't need to. Because when we shoot the red dot, we tilt the weapon in 45 degrees angle, so the red dot becomes leveled. When we look on the bullet trace through the scope, we can see the bullet go up and down, and it looks steep. But what is the exact angle the bullet hit the target? There was a counter sniper technique taught in sniper schools. How to use this angle to find the distance where the sniper shoot from. As you can see it in this picture. Putting aside the difficulty of putting a stick in an actual bullet hole, since in some cases maybe it can be done, the real problem with this technique is that the angles aren't correct in regard to the distance of the shot. So what angle would a bullet really make? We can test it ourselves using real life fire or just calculate with our ballistic software. For example, if we were shoot 762 NATO round to 700 meters, we will take about 22 minutes of angle, which means about third degree. If we only consider gravity, the elevation angle will be the impact angle, but including friction and drag, the heat angle will be about two third degree, which is far from what we see in this drawing. In this distance, the bullet raises above the line of sight about two meters. And from the shooter perspective, it looks steep. But from the side, you can see it's very flat. When we shoot to very long distance, let's say 50 cal to two kilometers, the elevation angle is much larger about 125 MOA and bullet goes about 45 meters above the line of sight and even so the heat angle is only about 6 degrees still very far from what showed in this technique that's it for this video hope it was an interesting topic so have a good day or night and bye